Hey, welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. So in this DaVinci Resolve tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can export specific parts of your project timeline and not your entire project. So this might be useful if you only want to export certain parts of your video, or maybe you have a really large complex project and you only need to show people certain parts of it without rendering the entire video. So let me show you the first and easiest way to do that, and it's basically going to your deliver page. So once you're here in your deliver page, you'll notice something here called render, and the default is entire timeline. And what you notice is here, there's this gray bar above it, and it has these two handles on the left and this right, basically these two circles. Now, if you wanted to adjust the areas that you want to export, all you have to do is drag these handles or circles. So that's the beginning, and here is the end. So in and out points. So now, if you render this by add to render queue and you export the video, it's only going to export and render this part of your video. Plus, if you look up here to render, it changed from entire timeline to in and out range, which leads me to the second thing, and that is setting in and out ranges or in and out points. So if you want to go back and select the entire timeline, you'll go here to your drop down, choose entire timeline, and now we have the same thing. So in this case, why would you want to use in and out points or ranges. Well, if you were doing this manually, it might be okay for like a shorter or smaller project, but what if you had a really big project and it's really long, you could definitely make mistakes, or if you're dragging this manually, it might not be as precise. And so the way in which you do this is you simply set in and out points for your range. So just go ahead and drag your playhead where you want it. And here you could right click on your mouse and mark in and then mark out or you could use shortcuts so say for example you wanted to mark in right here you press i and then for the out point you press o and that's it you've now set your in and out ranges for the portions that you want to render and export for professional virtual business locations check out anytime mailbox with more than 1300 locations worldwide at affordable rates for more information Check out the affiliate link in the description area below. And so now the second way in which you can do this is within your edit page. So in this case, we could do the same thing. You could right click, mark in, mark out, or you can use shortcuts. And now you have your in and out ranges. And the great thing is if you do it right here in your edit page, and then you go here to your deliver page, you'll notice that that area is already highlighted and selected. And once you render it, it'll just export that portion of it. And if you go back to your edit page, if you want to go ahead and go back to your entire timeline, then if you right click on your mouse, you won't see that option here. However, if you go up here to mark, you see an option for clear in and out, or you can use a shortcut Alt X. And once you do that, it'll go ahead and choose your entire project timeline. And when you go to your deliver page, your entire timeline is selected. So that's how you can export specific parts of your video and also use the in and out ranges. So if you actually had any thoughts on this or any other ways which you do this, be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And if you did want to see more of my DaVinci Resolve tutorials and tips, I do have an entire playlist. I'll leave that in the description area as well. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. And if you're a creative geek like me, and you want to get exclusive access to more content that I don't put out here publicly on my YouTube channel, then join my Go Content Creators Group, where you're going to get content like this and more for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check on the page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group.